Dr. Paige Wallace, the Urgent Care Coordinator here at Tier 1 Veterinary Medical Center. And today I want to share a little bit of information about a condition called gastric dilatation and volbulus, also called GDV, or most people more commonly refer to it as bloat, although this is somewhat of a misnomer. There's actually a few different stages of bloat. It can be food-related, gas-related, or in the case of a GDV, a gas-related distension of the stomach that actually turns over. In these conditions, nothing can get in or out of the stomach, although it's continuing to distend with gas, and this can be a life-threatening complication. The stomach lining loses circulation, the vessels begin to rupture, you get bruising, and eventually necrosis and death, and the stomach wall will actually rupture, spilling the contents of the stomach into the abdomen. This will result in in death of your dog. I actually had a dog with a GDB when I was a vet student and it cost me an extra $3,500 on my student loans 10 years ago to get that recovered. Unfortunately, he did recover because we got him to the vet in time, but he did lose a portion of his stomach. GDBs can be prevented by a surgery called a gastropexy or more commonly referred to as a pexy. And what that involves is making an incision in the outer layers of the stomach and adhering it surgically to the body wall so that it cannot flip over. That surgery is very commonly available from primary care veterinarians, emergency veterinarians. It's something that's a good prophylactic measure. It can be easily incorporated into a spay or a neuter procedure. It doesn't really lengthen the recovery time. It's approximately two weeks. Occasionally, after the, the pexy, dogs will experience a little bit of nausea, which is understandable given the manipulation in their stomach, but their recovery is usually fairly rapid. The goal of this surgery is to prevent the torsion. It's an extra couple hundred dollars on your, your spay or your neuter, or it can be done on, the, on its own if you're not interested in having your dog sterilized. Um, and those surgeries are offered in a myriad of different ways. You can do an incisional gastropexy, which goes up the midline, um, which is easy to incorporate into a spay procedure, or there's an alternate, slightly less invasive technique that comes along the side of the body wall and involves only about a four centimeter incision, which is what you'll be seeing in the attached video clips that I performed on my dog two weeks ago. In my own personal opinion, I don't think that you should have any dog over 50 pounds that's not pexied. Is the risk to your dog high? Maybe not. It's usually more common in your deep-chested, narrow-chested breeds, your, your Great Danes, Dobermans, Boxers, Labs, Retrievers, but any dog whose chest is deeper than it is wide will be at an increased risk for having a torsion of that stomach. The condition can be hard to detect. You have to watch very closely. Usually we'll see it within an hour to four hours after they ingest a meal. And as the stomach starts to digest with gases and gastric juices to digest that material, should the dog go out and become active or even if they just roll over wrong in their kennel, they can result in torsion of that stomach. The first couple of signs you'll see that something might be wrong is retching. Um, your dog will start to gag and act like it's going to vomit, but be unable to produce anything more than maybe foam. They'll start to pant because they're painful and uncomfortable. Their abdomen, especially at approximately the level of the last few ribs, will start to distend. And in accordance with that, their elbows will actually come out as well to avoid putting any pressure on that because it hurts. They may be uncomfortable laying down, they'll lay down and get up several times because they just can't get comfortable because their stomach hurts. Should you notice any of these signs in your dog, it is vitally important that you get them to the veterinarian right away. Seconds, hours, minutes, they're vital to the survival of the dog. With the lack of circulation that happens in the stomach due to the excessive stretching, you begin to get death of that tissue and you can wind up losing part or even all of the stomach and in those cases, there's nothing we can do to save them. So early detection and early correction is vitally important. Unfortunately, the only way to correct these is with surgery. The surgery and the prolonged recovery, especially in older dogs where we tend to see it more, can easily run upwards of $6,000. 
and not every time do you get to take your dog home, which can just be heartbreaking to put all that effort and time and emotional investment into trying to bring your dog through this catastrophic event just to wind up losing them. So when they're fully grown, so that you're not dealing with abnormal stretching of the incision, I would say no earlier than absolutely one year, but I would recommend a year and a half to two years old. Ask your vet, it can't hurt just to ask, is my dog at risk for this condition and would you consider it? I just performed the surgery on my 70 pound lab hunting dog and I will never own another dog over 50 pounds that I do not do a gastropexy on because having been through it once, I don't ever want to experience that kind of panic and concern over my dog's survival again.